school attention stand it is attention join our hands and close your eyes our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven School. Stand it is. Attention. If you are not willing to learn, no one can help you. If you are determined to learn, no one can stop you. A very prosperous good morning to everyone present here in our first assembly program of Class 6B. With great, with great respect and profound regards, respected Principal Father Raj Kapoor, esteemed Headmistress Sister Sumita, hardworking teachers, and all my dear Bosconians. I wholeheartedly welcome you all in this beautiful morning. I am Rian from Class 6B with my co-anchor Aisha going to host today's assembly program of Class 6B. Today is 21st of November and it is Monday. As we all are aware that we start every event with prayers. Prayer means the purification of one's soul. It takes away negative thoughts from our mind. Let us start our day by offering prayer to the Supreme Almighty. Page number 12, song number 6. Holy book keeps a soul pure and we get inner power to make us positively charged. So here Chuba will enlighten us through a Bible reading. Good morning to one and all present here and Princess Father, Sister, Teacher and all my dear Bosconians. Today I will read a Holy Bible. The Bible verse is John chapter 14 verse 6. John chapter 14 verse 6, Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth. No one come to the Father except through me. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you, Chuba.
Now I would like to felicitate our honorable principal, Father Raj Kapoor, with the traditional Pulam Ghamusa of Assam. So Anujyoti is requested to come and felicitate our honorable principal. Give a big round of applause. Thank you, Father. And now I would like to call Sabporna Day to felicitate our honorable headmistress, Sister Sumita, with traditional Fulam Gamusa of Assam on behalf of all my classmates. Give a big round of applause. Thank you, Sister. It is great to start the morning with positive thought. Thought inspire and motivate our mind. So I like to invite Deep Jyoti to share the thought of the day. Good morning to one and all present here. My name is Deep Jyoti. So today's thought is all power is within you. You can do anything and everything. I repeat my thought again. All power is within you. You can do anything and everything. Said by Swami Vivekananda. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Thank you, Deep Jyoti. News updating news. Updating ourselves with the current happenings is a good habit. It helps us stay updated and increase our knowledge. I would like to call Prince and Devuchanda to please come forward and enlighten us with the current happenings. Good morning, morning to everyone. everyone. I am Devuchanda. I am Prince. Welcome to our Dharma Bosco News channel. So today's top headlines are India's first privately made rocket launch. C.V. Ananda Bose, former civil servant, appointed West Bengal governor. Modi for imposition of cost to nation supporting terrorism. India to be world's second largest economy by 2050. To add a trillion dollar to GDP every 12-18 months, said by Gautam Adani. Our Don Moscow High School this year celebrated Children's Day program with great pomp and joy. 427 Tengu cases reported from 14 districts in Assam in last few days. Twenty-five years old man killed in blast in Dibrugarh. Assam CM Amanta Vishwa Sharma to launch millet vision to meet nutrition needs. 400 birth anniversary of Assam's war hero Dachit Gupakan to be celebrated. Vivek Express, country's longest train to operate twice a week and a pass. India beat New Zealand's second G20 match by margin of 65 runs. Puja sets U16 high jump national mark. Assam wins 3 gold in G Punedo. World Cup could be viewed by 5 billion, more than half of the world's population. Yesterday, FIFA World Cup 2022 started. The football match was between Qatar and Equator. Equator beat Qatar by margin of 2-0. As per the IMD, heavy rainfall at isolated places in possible over Sikkim, Manipur, Tripura, and Nagaland. At 9 degrees Celsius, Delhi records Sierra's cold this morning. Two people killed in Uttar Pradesh as heavy rain causes wall collapses. Weather in Assam on November 22 to remain dry with shallow fog. Thank, Thank you, you and, and have a nice, nice day. Thank you, Prince and Debuchanda, to enlighten us with the current happenings. Today being 21st of November, which is being celebrated as World Television Day, as well as Hello Day. To put a light on this topic, I would like to call Aniketan Adrish to, Aniketan Adrish to come forward. So, 
A warm good morning to one and all present here, respected father, sister, teachers, and all you, my dear Bostonians. As today is the World Television Day, I, Aniket Acharya from Class 6B, is going to tell the importance of this day. In December 1996, the United Nations proclaimed 21st November as World Television Day, commemorating the date on which the first World Television Forum was held in 1996. World Celebration of Television Day celebrates the daily use of television as a symbol of communication. By considering television can play a major role in our life and also a great part in imparting education. Viewing the education, educational programs, we can enrich our knowledge from every nook and corner of the world. It is celebrated in awareness of the growing influence of television on development purpose. As a result, television was recognized as a key medium of education. Thank you everyone and have a wonderful day. Hello everyone. You all might be wondering why I greeted saying hello instead of good morning. Well friends, today is World Hello Day. So I am here to deliver a speech on World Hello Day. Hello is the most basic word that exists in our dictionary, the simplest form of greeting one another, and the smallest way to start a conversation. World Hello Day may sound extremely basic as it encourages us to take the opportunity to simply greet people and to recognize how important simple communication is in our daily lives. World Hello Day is a secular, unofficial holiday celebrated on 21st of November by 180 countries to illustrate the importance of personal communication for preserving peace. The story of how it came to be, however, is an interesting one. World Hello Day was originally created in 1973 by Arizona State University graduate Michael McCormack and Harvard University graduate Brian McCormack as a direct response to the Arab-Israeli War, also known as the Yom Kippur War, gathering all the money they had at the time. These two brothers bought posters and sent out letters to many world leaders and asked them to support this new holiday. Within the first 12 months of their campaign, they received the support of over 15 countries. It is truly inspiring that simple teenagers made this move to spread the message of peace and harmony. World Hello Day is an opportunity for everyone all throughout the globe to make an effort at reaching out to one another, taking steps towards world peace. Now the question is, how can we celebrate World Hello Day? Participating in World Hello Day is quite simple. All you have to do is to say hello to at least 10 people during this day. People should also take time to learn how to say hello in a couple of different languages and then put that into practice sometimes during this day. Namaste in Hindi, bonjour in French, ciao in Italy. Isn't it just very interesting to be able to explore different cultures by just learning a single salutation from their language? So let's greet everyone we meet with a friendly smile and wave and witness the power of communication to build bridges and bring about peace. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you, Aniketa Radrij. Dear friends, I think a program is incomplete without a dance performance. So let's call our dancers of choir group. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not
for music sare ga ma pa dha ni we all very much familiar with sudha kantha of assam dr bhupen hazarika who was a playback singer lyricist musician poet actor filmmaker and many more he died on 5th november 5th november 2011 so to pay tribute So to pay tribute to this legendary singer our friend Arnav will dedicate a song Thank you. 
Good morning, our respected principal, Father Raj Kapoor, Honorable Headmistress, Sister Sumitha, my dear colleagues, and my loving children. Actually, I am here to give a small message. One slok is there. Shubhasya Shekram Ashubhasya Kala Haranam. Means, if you have good thought, good ideas in your mind, you implement immediately. No need to ask your parents, your teachers, your elders, your youngest, no need to ask. And if you have any evil thought or bad ideas in your mind, please steal your time. Please take your time, waste your time by asking your youngers, elders, even gurus, parents, so that we can make this society a better society. Thank you, everybody. Now I'm going to my anchors. Aisha, do you think anything is missing? Yes, Rian, Father speech for our positive motivation. So, we, we are, are eagerly, eagerly waiting, waiting for our, our Father's speech. Now we would like to call our dear Father on the stage to share your thoughts with us. Good 
morning everyone morning. at the very outset i would like to appreciate and congratulate class 6b for this wonderful assembly this morning and i know how much hard work they have put in how much effort has been made and how much practice was needed to perform their first assembly in this school this morning. Please give a round of applause to class 6B. <laughs> Particularly, I would like to mention Madam Ratna Day for making this assembly possible this morning, making it happen in a, in a way we always expect it to be. And they have come up to our expectation and uh, Madam Ratnade has contributed a lot by giving positive motivation to her students through WhatsApp messages for past two days. I appreciate and congratulate you, Madam, Madam Ratnade. Please give her a round of, round of applause. The thought of the day was that all the power is within you and you can do anything and everything. Madam Ratna has already given us a beautiful message this morning, a very thought-inspiring message, that if you have a good thought in your heart and mind, do it. Don't waste time consulting, do it right now. Once you know that it is a good thought, once your conscience is clear, once your mind is pure, implement it, execute it immediately. But if you have an evil thought, delay in consulting people, by consulting people, take time, delay the thought, do not execute it until you are really sure that it is going to happen in a good way. I am not going to give you another message for this day because that thought should dwell in our heart today, that thought should continue to motivate us, that thought should continue to guide us throughout this week till we have the next assembly and let it become part of your life. Let this thought become part of your life. Just a few reminders for a better presentation of our students, you loving children. Winter is setting in. You may have the tendency to wear the warm clothes. It is good that you keep yourself warm. However, when you come to school, please do not use muffler. Do not use a scarf. It is not that cold that you need a muffler right now. It is not that cold that you need a scarf right now. When it is needed, we will permit you. We will see. And present yourself in the school in a manner that you feel confident. Today, these students performed wonderfully. It is not easy to come on the stage and perform in front of 580 students. And that also in front of their own teachers. The language they used, fantastic. They have practiced. Yet we find that, yes, confidence still needed. They are confident to perform. At the same time, we need confidence. And confidence comes only by self-belief. Believe in yourself and present yourself well. One aspect of the confidence is also your presentation, the way you dress. Your dress makes you feel confident. The way you polish your shoes, your shoes should be shining. Your collar should be right. Your uniform should be neat and clean, well ironed. That gives you confidence that yes, you can present yourself in public. So make yourself always presentable as they have presented themselves this morning. I wish you a very wonderful day, a day of learning, a day of inspiration, a day of motivation. Have a good day. Thank you. That is the that is indeed motivating and inspiring. We will surely remember your inspiring words, Father. This is the, the end of our assembly program. We, we hope, hope you all enjoyed. Be a good, good human, spread smiles, goodbye. goodbye.